What's up guys, it's Ed back again from TechSource and welcome to another detailed camera comparison test. This time we are facing off the iPhone 6s Plus against the Samsung Galaxy S6. But before we jump into the samples, let's take a quick look at the specs. The iPhone 6s Plus has a 12 megapixel rear facing camera with an aperture of 2.2 that can shoot up to 4K resolution. And the Galaxy S6 has a 16 megapixel camera with a 1.9 aperture that can also shoot up to 4K resolution. For front facing cameras, the iPhone 6s Plus has a 5 megapixel camera that can shoot up to 720p, whereas the 5 megapixel camera on the S6 can shoot up to 1080p. If you guys want to pimp out your smartphones with the sickest skins on the planet, then you should check out the brands. They have a bunch of different types for practically all devices including smartphones, laptops, and even consoles. But I'll go ahead and drop a link down below for anyone that is interested. So without wasting any more time, let's sit back, relax, and take a look at some samples. When it comes to autofocusing, the 6S Plus does a great job. It utilizes its focus pixels feature to detect the object quickly and focus with 100% accuracy. The Galaxy S6 also does a phenomenal job. Accuracy and speed is there on both cameras. I honestly don't have any complaints. When it comes to daytime video, both phones shoot exceptional crispy footage. The S6 is more towards the warmer side whereas the 6S Plus leans more towards the cooler colors. The iPhone 6 Plus, however, has slightly better dynamic range. If you pay attention to the background, you can actually see more of the mountain whereas it's slightly overexposed on the S6. So for daylight video, the 6S takes the point. When it comes to low light video, the S6 easily takes the point. Not only does it have a much wider field of view, but the objects are far more visible. If you pay attention to the billboard, you can actually read most of the words on there from the S6 footage, whereas it's mostly blurry from the 6S Plus. Low light video goes to the S6. For stabilization, both phones were shot in 4K and were strapped on a device to ensure a very accurate stabilization reading. I had to rewatch the video a bunch of times because both phones are practically identical. Both the 6S and the S6 have optical image stabilization, however if you pay attention really carefully, you can see that the S6 is actually slightly more stable and for that I will award the point to the S6. But honestly, it's barely noticeable and both phones do an outstanding job. What's up guys and welcome to the front facing video camera and microphone quality test portion of the video between the iPhone 6S Plus and the Galaxy S6. Uh, both of the phones are being shot in its highest resolution and also there'll be an audio icon somewhere on the screen that will indicate which phone's audio is being used. Uh, also if you guys are listening to this on your headphones, 
I'm going to stay quiet for a bit so you guys can hear the actual background noise. For front-facing video, the S6 has sharper footage since it's being shot in 1440p and it also has a much wider field of view. The 6S Plus, however, is stuck at 720p, so I'll give the point to the S6 for sharper footage. However, the 6S Plus takes a point for having a much better dynamic range. The background on the S6 is completely overexposed, whereas it's nicely balanced on the 6S Plus. For microphone quality, the S6 takes the point simply because it has a much louder mic. Now let's take a look at daytime pics. The S6 has warmer colors, whereas the 6S Plus is more on the cooler side. The 6S Plus also tends to have more contrast, which makes the colors pop, whereas you get a more flatter look on the S6. A great example is this shot of the purple flowers. Now in terms of true to life colors, the iPhone 6 Plus nails it on almost every shot. The S6 has slightly more saturation, which makes the red stand out a bit too much. The true colors of the flowers and leaves in this pic are resembled best by the 6S Plus, and the same goes for the subscribe pillow, the yellow Jeep, and my red shirt. You can really see the saturation levels clearly from the Galaxy S6 from this pic. Dynamic range also goes to the 6S Plus. The exposure levels are always on point, no matter the shot, and you get a nicely balanced exposure whereas the background on the S6 is overexposed most of the time. In terms of sharpness, the S6 takes the point. I'm sorry, but the 12 megapixel camera just doesn't compete with the 16 megapixel camera from the S6. I mean, both phones have their strengths and weaknesses, but overall, the iPhone 6 Plus has a much better camera for daylight pictures if you factor in everything I mentioned, which is why it gets the point for daytime pics. For low light pictures, both phones do a pretty good job for the most part. The color reproduction on the S6 is a lot better than the 6S Plus. You can really see the colors more even in low light. However, the pictures are more sharper on the 6S Plus. Here's a picture of the billboard sign, but cropped in 100%. You can see that the word deluxe is a lot more sharper on the 6S Plus. Same thing for indoors, you can see the entire Logitech mouse whereas some parts are darker on the Galaxy S6. Also when it comes to motion, the 6S Plus does a much better job. The shutter speed is much slower on the S6 which results in more motion blur, so without question the 6S Plus takes the point for low light pictures. Lastly when it comes to flash, both phones do an exceptional job both from a distance or even close up shots. However the point goes to the Galaxy S6 simply because the final shot is more truer to life like in this picture with the red flowers whereas the iPhone's flash alters the final image. So if you guys counted all the points, the clear winner is the iPhone 6S Plus. Now before all the fan droids dislike the video, please keep in mind that this was a fair test and nothing was altered on the pictures. Everything you saw in the video were the raw files straight from the cameras. If you guys enjoyed these camera comparisons and want me to continue doing them, then please hit that like button to show your support. Also, let me know what you guys want to see go up against the iPhone 6S by dropping a comment down below. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.